Hello everyone, Josh Hone again, financial analyst based out of Columbia, South Carolina. Uh, this video is a continuation of the Union All SQL video um, based on this project. And we're going to switch gears though and focus more on, in this video, how to connect your data um, to Excel uh, dynamically. And a few things on what you can do once you get it into Excel. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to, as you can see, I've already pulled the data into Excel in this tab, but let's do it again. I, and I, I cleaned it up a little bit, but let's, let's just do it again to show you. Click on from other sources, then um, all right, let me start over. I went a little fast. You go up to from other sources, click on from Microsoft Query, <clears throat> then MS Access Database, find your database, then find the table or query just keep going now you can do you know basically follow the instructions here and then there you go so you're you're linked to that table now table or query and so let's go back to the database and let's go back to let's close these out I don't need these open Let's just play with it a little bit just to show you what's possible. Well, first, let me show you this form. Well, no, we'll just, let's just update it. And then you go here and click Refresh All. And you see here you got the September annualized um, versus August. Let's go back. Let's do, um, let's do 11. And refresh. See that's dynamically updated. So what we have here is a um, a sum if formula that's designed through this index formula and match to basically find um, as the sum range it'll dynamically look for the month in question. So um, this 130, 364 if we change back to say May it'll automatically look for May as a sum range, but let's just test it. Let's look. So small November annualized. So let's filter on small. And again, these dynamically update because we're using subtotal um, code nine. So let's go over to November. Um, let's open that up. November annualized. So we have 13364. Is that what we saw over here? 13364. So so that's that's matching. Um, and this formula you can kind of just play with that. It, it, this comes in handy sometimes these index and match formulas. But um, let's see here let's go back to the database. So how did we what did we do with this? How, how did we Let's let's design view. This here is just this DLOOKUP function just basically pulls the year out of um, this selected date, but it does it by well we have this selected date basically um, control source is selected date over here. So Basically, when you do a drop down and you change this, say to 113, and you go back to selected date, it's automatically changed. Now, there's a trick though. Um, when you bound something and you go to event, um, just refresh, have a refresh action in there whenever you change it. That way, you're your dates and everything will automatically update. So let's try it again. Let's go 413. So it's automatically updated. So it's really this D lookup is really pulling from year selected. So this query actually. So which is pulling from selected date. So, as you can 
can see. So that's how that works. Um, I know I'm going kind of fast, but um, and how I did this is it's just a basically your dates. I just put them in manually. So you, that's how you you can click on on that. You can kind of that's kind of self-explanatory. So um, let's go back. Let's try this. Click on that. Clicking on this button just runs the macro. So one little trick um, or piece of advice I can give you is if a lot of people are using your database, man, you know, even several in an accounting department, three or four, it's usually better to use instead of make table queries, use uh, delete and append. Um, it'll help the um, database not get hung up as much if somebody is tr trying to make. Or to make table query. So let's see. Let's go back. So let's run that. November, October. And we can you know, show used only. This is just a macro, basically. It, uh, It's very very simple. You just um, what I do is I just hide everything and then unhide what I want to see. So just put it to a assign it to a command button. So so there you go. You can you kind of get an idea of the power of Excel connected to um, an access database with this. I think so different things that are possible. So. I uh, hope this has been beneficial for you.